So the new platform we're talking about is codenamed WPFE, and it's available now from Microsoft's website in preview form, and it's a new player that runs inside of any web browser. It works um, on Macintosh and Windows. It works with um, Internet Explorer with Safari and Firefox, and it's a new plugin. It's actually not just for video. It also includes uh, support for graphics and animation, and the WPFE codename um, comes from the name WPF, which is our Windows Presentation Foundation, which is the new presentation presentation and media system that's part of Windows Vista. This particular example is sort of a video library example. It's a bunch of streaming um, video from, um, uh, it's using Ajax and so you have uh, JavaScript, HTML, and then also using XAML. So that's a, a, a markup language that we have t for uh, describing richer elements and interactivity and things like that that goes a lot beyond what you can do in HTML or in Ajax. The situation today actually is that Windows media is still by far the leading format on the web for delivering video um, and this is just actually a new richer way to build user experiences around Windows Media Video. So all of the tools and all the production workflows that people have been using to get uh, Windows Media onto the web, they'll still be able to do that. Here's a few of the other things um, that we have. So let's see, we've got a film strip thing, a player, a sprawl. These are just sample applications. So we see it being used uh, for all sorts of, of cases where you need rich interactivity um, or, or you need rich animation. And here's our page turn application. Uh, it's just a sample of using simple geometry uh, and JavaScript and Ajax. You can basically just put this together with WPFE. These images aren't pre-rendered like this. They're just being um, basically transformed at real time. Here's an example of the, um, it's a script tag here and it's putting the WPFE control host in. With this sort of video, you could also integrate better with desktop apps and widgets and things like that, like you see oh, yeah, in Windows okay. Vista and stuff, Good. so that people, you could find out, say, for instance, it'd be very possible to develop something where you have a, a widget that um, basically notifies you when your favorite uh, video authors have uploaded something new, say. And then you can tie into the whole desktop experience as well. And you could also, somebody could use WPF and create a desktop player that could connect to the back end of different video feeds as well. The actual server infrastructure is the server infrastructure you have today. So it works with, of course, with Windows Server um, and with IIS and that's, that's part of Windows Server. And it also works with Windows Streaming Media Server. Um, as far as the tools for creating it, um, the, the actual format itself of the video is a WMV format and it's a constrained subset. It's, the, it's, it's our very latest codec VC1 and we support a core set of profiles. All your video may already be ready for this or we actually sell a server, it's client and server encoding tool as part of a new expression media product that's specifically for uh, putting video into this format. So again, we're trying to offer like a whole range of solutions for people. So it's not just one little technology that's in a silo. Um, this is related to Windows Media Player. It's related to WPF and Vista and, um, and all those technologies, Ajax, all that stuff. And it's supposed to work together.